Welcome to one of Africa's genuine success stories. This is the School of St. Jude. Too often reports coming out of Africa focus on the very real but depressing stories of famine, disease, poverty and drought. This story is different. My name is Kat and I'm going to show you around this amazing school that has changed the lives of thousands of Tanzanian children and their families. And the exciting part is that you can be a part of this remarkable story. Stick around to find out how. Ten years ago, the buildings that surround me didn't exist. This patch of land was a banana plantation and the children of this school had very bleak futures. The school has played an integral part in the development of the town. Not only does it educate over 1,600 students, it also provides direct employment to more than 400 local people and indirect employment to thousands of others. Kim Saville, the school's deputy director, has worked at St Jude's since the early days and has an appreciation of what a difference the school has made. When I arrived in 2002, we employed one handyman and a local teacher. Since then, literally thousands of people from temporary tradesmen on building projects to long-term teachers have joined the staff. But it's not just the people on the payroll who've benefited from the development of St Jude's. So many local businesses, from large hardware stores to the women who sell tomatoes in the market, have enjoyed a huge boost to their income as the school purchases oh, all of its building materials, electrical supplies, food, fuel, uniforms, furniture and fittings, stationery from local suppliers. Of course, these people now are able to afford to send their children to good schools. So it's quite amazing when you think of the ripple effects throughout our local community. The students at the School of St Jude are very lucky. They now have the luxury of dreaming of a brighter future and are very determined to work hard so that they can pull themselves and their families out of a life of poverty. Let's speak to some of the older students and hear about their ambitions. When I grow up, I would like to be a lawyer. I want to be an accountant. I would like to be a pilot. I would like to be a geologist. A neurologist. An economist. Electronic engineer. A biomedic engineer. I like to be a telecommunication engineer. A software engineer. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a successful businesswoman. In 2001, Gemma Cecia, a young teacher from rural Australia, dreamed of building a school here in Tanzania after witnessing widespread crippling poverty. The underfunded and oversubscribed education system available to the poor was a major contributing factor. Without quality education, the overwhelming majority of Tanzania's poor would never escape the cycle of poverty into which they were born. Gemma's dream of fighting poverty through education was realised when her Tanzanian father-in-law, Daniel Cecia, donated the first plot of land. Supported by family and friends and her local Rotary Club in Australia, Gemma with her husband Richard began to build the school that opened in January 2002 with three students and 10 years later is educating more than 1,600 of the poorest and brightest children in the region. This remarkable achievement has come about through the sheer determination and hard work of Gemma and her team in Tanzania, supported by sponsors and donors from Australia and now across the globe. You know, in the last 10 years, what everyone has achieved is really, really amazing. But, you know, there's so much more that we have to do if our children are truly going to be able to achieve their dreams. Currently, the children who we started St Jude's with back in 2002 are in their middle year of secondary school. But we need to get them to the end of secondary school. We need lots of people, both here and at home, to join our team. Not only do we need lots of money for building classrooms, desks and chairs, we actually need lots of that, but we also need people everywhere just to give of their time and their skills. It would be fantastic if people could just take five minutes out of their busy day to go to our School of St Jude website to find out how they personally can become a part of this amazing team. Eric is one of the school's younger students at 11 years old. He comes from a very poor family of 14 who live here in this small mud brick home. Eric's father is a farmer and his mother sells the vegetables which the family grows. Their combined income is approximately $15 a week. So the opportunity of an education is something that no one in his family could ever have afforded. However, thanks to the School of St Jude, it has become a reality. This education will give Eric the means to support his family in the future. 
I love my school because it's the best. I've learned so many things. I know English and I can even use a computer. When I went to a government primary school, there were 60 students in the class. We shared desks between many students. I didn't eat any food all day. I was very hungry and it was very difficult to listen to the teachers. At St. Jude's, I get three meals every day. I go to boarding school where I have my own bed. I get dinner every day. There are even teachers to help me with my homework. Going to boarding school means that Eric and his classmates don't have to spend hours travelling to and from school, so they have more time and energy to devote to their studies. All boarding students have evening classes where there are teachers on hand to help with homework. Students also get three nutritious meals a day, something their families would never be able to provide. Over the next few years, the school needs to continue to grow so we can accommodate more students like Eric. More classrooms, more computer and science labs, more buses, more boarding facilities, kitchens and toilets will all need to be built or purchased. The situation was very, very hard. They came to Felix Malel initially joined St Jude's in 2005 as one of the first school bus drivers. But like our students, Felix was bright and ambitious. He worked hard to improve his minimal English and took time to learn to use the computer. So when a position came up in the office, Felix was given the opportunity to use his new skills. He is now a valuable member of the visitors team. Felix, can you tell me a little bit about your education? Uh, school was very difficult. Classes were very big. We had very few books. We had no chairs, we had no desks, we had no textbooks. We had very few classrooms. And how has your life changed since you started working at St. Jude's? Uh, to be honest, St. Jude's has really changed my life. I have worked very hard and as a result I have been given fantastic opportunities. I started working here as a bus driver and now I am responsible for looking after visitors. I, I love my job indeed. Felix is a great example of how someone with the drive and ambition to overcome a difficult start in life can achieve their dreams when given the opportunity and encouragement. Thanks to Felix's job at St Jude's, he has been able to provide for his family who live just a couple of kilometres from the school. The family are members of the Maasai tribe. Supporting his wife and two daughters is Felix's priority and now because of his job at St Jude's, he can ensure that they eat well and the girls will receive a good education. In addition to local staff, the school employs a small percentage of experienced overseas teachers, some to mentor St Jude's teachers and others to teach ESL. This is critical for the professional development of the local staff. Laura has been an ESL teacher here at St Jude's for a year now. I've been teaching ESL for 35 years and this year that I've had at St Jude's would have to be the most uh, enriching of all of my professional life and I feel that all my previous experience has been very, very valuable here and being part of the St Jude's team has been incredibly rewarding. So I would recommend this position to any experienced ESL teacher who's looking for a real challenge. In addition to teacher mentors and ESL teachers, the school also needs experienced office staff. We're always looking for dedicated, hardworking and flexible volunteers who have admin experience. It's challenging but extremely rewarding. A quality primary and secondary education is so important, especially in developing countries where there is a desperate need for an educated workforce. For the last 10 years, St Jude's has managed to enrol and find supporters for 150 new students every year, and this will continue to grow. In 2015, the first graduates will leave and go on to universities and colleges around East Africa. But again, this is only possible through the generosity of sponsors and donors from around the world. Although there are no fees for primary school, students must purchase uniforms, books, stationery and find their own transport. So as a result, education is a luxury that only the wealthy few can afford. This is Glory. Many children like Glory who are unable to find work are forced to spend their days in local dumps. Glory spends up to eight hours a day here, foraging for any plastics that she might be able to sell. Glory. 
nilifaulu lakini sikuweza kuendelea kwa sababu wazazi wangu hawana uwezo wa kunisomesha Today Gloria will collect enough plastic to fill a Hessian sack and she'll sell this for less than $1. She's only 13 years old and she's destined to live the rest of her life like this. In Tanzania, the majority of children barely learn to read and write and with such basic education, they're consigned to a harsh future, often needing to resort to crippling manual labour. By the age of 10, after the first set of national exams, at least 50% of the students who did manage to get to school have to leave and join the workforce. These children and their families desperately need help, and this is exactly what the School of St. Jude is all about. Last year I came fifth in the national exams out of 10,000 students. This is very good because in the future I want to become a doctor. And the main reason that I want to become a doctor is that I want to make changes in my country. Caroline realises what a fantastic opportunity she has been given because in Tanzania, one of the world's poorest nations, education requires funds that are beyond the reach of most families. Volunteering is just one of the ways that people can get involved in St Jude's. Others sponsor a student, a bus, teacher or a boarding room. Some donate money, while others spread the word about the school by talking to their friends, colleagues, local school, church or Rotary Club. There are so many ways to get involved and to become part of the big St Jude's family. We've been fortunate to welcome some of our valued supporters to our school and here's what a few of them had to say about their experience at St Jude's. We're just thrilled to be here to see the school at last. It's marvellous to be part of all this to be able to contribute in a very small way, to see young Tanzanians having the, the chance to be educated. I'm a teacher in Canada. Um, I've also taught in Nigeria in the past and as well as China. And so it's really lovely to see a school like this with this kind of facility and these kind of, this kind of equipment for students who otherwise would never have the chance to have such a quality education. We found that after consulting other charities that this was far better because you, your money goes directly to the school and directly to our sponsor child. They keep in touch with us very regularly and we get all these school reports and today we've finally met him. Very exciting. Tanzania is a beautiful country filled with rich minerals, fertile agricultural land, a booming tourist industry and friendly people. There is so much potential here that has yet to be realised. And yet, like so many other developing countries, it remains trapped in poverty. There are so many ways people can help, from donating, to fundraising, to volunteering, or just spreading the word. One person can make incredible things happen, but many people together can make those incredible things happen for so many more people. If you want to help some of the world's most disadvantaged children reach great heights, do something, anything, just get involved. Join the St Jude's family today. Join our